All right, everybody, I'm going to stop my share. I'm going to press record. Hold on a moment. Um, we've got a second Janet Hort in the Recording room. in progress. <laughs> Recording stopped. One moment. Another a sec a second Janet. Yeah, there's a second Janet Hort in the room. Can that person please uh, turn on their camera so we can see you? Yeah, we have to be very secure here, guys. It's her. It's her. It is Janet. Oh, there she okay. is. She's Beautiful. She's oh, going to the other one. That's okay, then. That's all right. She's all going right. You, might, you might need to co-host her again. Yeah, I've done that. Awesome. Awesome. Recording in progress. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our Aussie special Saturday Zoom. Thank you all for being here. Chavez is in the house. <laughs> we are so lucky to have Chavez here. It's very late at night for you or early in the morning for you. Hello, Chavez. Hello, Wani. Hello, everyone. It's always uh, good to see Anzax. And uh, I love the vibes here. And uh, yeah, let me see who is in. Uh, hey, Bill. Oh, Carl. Carl. All good? Okay. Rochelle is getting ready, uh, heading out somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Carl? I'll make him a co-host. Put your hand up, Carl. Okay. I can't find you. Amazing. We have Lena. We have Blaze. We have Bev. Amazing. Amazing. We have Moira. Uh, Moira, how are you? Amazing. Okay. All right. Let's start. Lots of our Shebas, lots of our, our ranked leaders are here, which is fantastic. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So what's been happening, Chavez? Tell us the latest. Tell us. Share, please share My, your mm -hmm. vision with us. Amazing. So, well, as you said, a lot of uh, people who achieve ranks are here. Uh, I have now made it very easy to achieve ranks and we will have uh, the existing structure achieve ranks one after another really, really fast now. Uh, so I will go step by step, uh, starting from boomerang and then we will uh, close towards capital 3.0. And uh, uh, I also expect all of you uh, have got a little idea, may not be very clear and concrete understanding of Capital 3.0, but yes, you might have a little idea and, uh, you know, a rough uh, understanding of Capital 3.0, why we are doing that and how we are doing that, uh, especially why we are doing that is very, very important. So I will highlight everything one by one. Uh, okay, starting with Boomerang, uh, let's uh, understand the concept. Where we are right now, today we got all the services resumed from Polygon. The third party services which were associated uh, for our operations, uh, those latency APIs, price fetching APIs, all are active now. So we can um, we have started configuration and testing them again because we got everything done before Polygon maintenance started. And that's why during the maintenance, during the migration, we were operating as well uh, without any problem. Since these services were updating, so we were waiting for them to just uh, go back to normal. Now they're normal, we are testing them again if uh, everything is working fine all the sockets are perfect and then we will go live hopefully by tomorrow or day after tomorrow uh, 15th of september uh, the moment we go live we will operate as usual with two trades and we will let the dap flow for two days and uh, after another two days we will understand the flow uh, the basic how it is uh, uh, behaving with your clicks when you click on auto trade and two, three more days, we will let it uh, function 
and then we will go on another maintenance and this maintenance will bring four trades a day for all the users so this is uh, this is going to be huge uh, in terms of uh, achieving more trades for the user base and then uh, like i said every week we are going to go on maintenance and there uh, there will be new additions and new updates so after this four trades operation we will then operate for four or five days more and then go on maintenance maybe this maintenance will be two days maintenance uh, after this one we will have uh, the number of trades increasing according to the profit ceiling uh, and test accounts will also start to be reinstated with 100 trades and users having larger profit ceilings will have a number of more number of trades according to their profit ceiling and then we will operate again for five six days we will go on another maintenance for a day uh, or two and then we will uh, switch to eight trades a day for all the users. So this is uh, in terms of development done. So by end of September in two weeks, we can expect this and <clears throat> we are all set uh, to implement this. And I think this is going to be uh, amazing for end users to experience more number of trades in a day and uh, later uh, but, but these eight trades, I don't think it will tire people uh, or it will make people, uh, you know, go crazy like uh, leaders who are making 100 trades and freaking out. So, but my, my goal is uh, to make sure as soon as possible, the community starts to get tired running trades. And that's where we will start uh, putting our approach towards the automation. Uh, so for me, uh, achieving 25 to 30 trades for end users is going to be, uh, you know, the same strategy, aggressively promoting and aggressively uh, asking tech team to work on number of trades, number of blockchains uh, similarly. So... Right. Uh, after uh, 25 or trades, we will uh, re-strategize our development uh, approach and we will work with two ways. One would be to increase number of trades with number of blockchains and accommodation within these networks as well. But at the same time, we will start working on automation. So I think 25 to 30 trades uh, are going to make people realize how it will be to operate the DAP without any restriction. And it will be a little tiring process as well because of the time zones and all that. So uh, I am all set to uh, see where uh, the threshold where community starts to get uh, tired. Uh, that is what I want to achieve uh, right now in terms of Boomerang. And then um, we will... Uh, you know, my tech team is also under a lot of pressure from February. Uh, they have been developing under pressure. They have been working under pressure. I need to give them some space, some creative freedom. Uh, where Because they, these guys, they built Boomerang. They, they built the whole concept. So and since then, they did not get any creative freedom. They are under pressure, working and working, uh, putting things together, which are not easy, which are impossible. So after this, I will give tech team some breathing space and give them creative freedom to free flow their ideas and put. And this will give us enhancements, which we will not even expect. Sometimes I, 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 I know I, I expect. You know, many of you are associated with me for a long time. Sometimes I do things which you guys don't expect. Uh, this is all because I give a lot of creative freedom to my tech team. So I need uh, to buy this time for team to have their own creative space to think out of box and bring additional 
uh, features inside Boomerang that is going to <clears throat> deplete profit ceilings fast first, and then also work on the tokenomics for Boomerang so that we can tokenize finally uh, Boomerang. So this will be the approach <clears throat> in terms of short-term goals and long-term goals on Boomerang. Uh, right. Second. Can I just second, uh, Shaman, sure, sure. sorry to cut you. Just regarding Boomerang, so does that mean for everybody at some point it will get to 25, 30 trades, including leaders? The leaders who have the 100 trades will all slow down as well? So it's spread for everybody. Uh, no. So so, slow, so leaders have uh, their test accounts <clears throat> on which we will continue to make experiments. Uh, let's say uh, now we are going to do what? <laughs> Uh, we experimented multiple trades with the leaders. Now we will uh, experiment no restricting, no restricted uh, atmosphere with the, these leaders. So there will be no restrictions for these accounts. These can run as many as trades. So that will be also a part of uh, the exercise. That's why we are we are not uh, making any changes uh, in these test accounts. So. Yeah, I mean, you guys have been testing for us, uh, not sleeping sometimes, completing your 100 trades uh, to give us enough data and uh, insights. And that's where we develop and deploy things. So Good. Good. that was very crucial. So, yeah. OK. I think uh, Carl has on. a question. Sorry, sorry, Chavez. I know if you want to sure. talk about the next product, Mm -hmm. Let's just get any boomerang questions out of the way now. Carl, do you have a question about boomerang? Yeah. Chavez, the way you're talking suggests that when you go to uh, two <laughs> trades, back to two trades and then to four, they are going to be time-based. But at some point, it sounds like you're switching to essentially big bang or grouped trades like the 100 trade people. So where does that switch from time based to all transactions occur in that timeline okay so uh, for test accounts uh, it will be the same uh, there will be no time zones or no division of uh, time zones in the restrictions for others for whole user base we will divide and restrict uh, this is because uh, the test accounts are the leaders who understand everything they will not uh, hit the confirm button if the profit is less than the gas fee. So we understand this and that's why we will not take any risk and challenges. Otherwise, people will do what they will run, run, run trades and then they will come to you like we lost this much money uh, running boomerang trades. We made this much money and our profit ceiling is also gone. Uh, we can potentially run millions of trades every day on Polygon. No problem. It is it is it is a blockchain there are arbitrage opportunities. Everything is there. It is just uh, our requirements, which are specific. So uh, <clears throat> uh, what I will do uh, is uh, first we will lift all the restrictions from these uh, 120 odd accounts, which are test accounts, and they will sort of operate and we will have the logs. We will check what kind of... Uh, you know, behavior it shows us, and then we will remove the time variable. Uh, and then it will be comfortable for all the, just like you guys, you guys are in Australia, you guys, uh, you know, sleep and you guys wake up at your own time zones. So if you don't have any restriction and you know that you can run only eight trades, you will in your time zone run eight trades, maybe at once, maybe in, in one hour. Uh, that's not a problem. But if everything works ideally, then, right? So we need to, uh, these restrictions are also training people to uh, function ideally with the required parameters. So I think uh, coming two, three months, uh, we are two, three months far from lifting all the restrictions uh, with networks and with the progress that we are having. Beautiful. And one other question, the ticket sizes, are they going to increase? 
Yes, of course. Uh, people have seen uh, close to two dollars of profit in a trade. So this is this is also good. Uh, this is uh, again I, just like I was explaining in the UK prime time today. Uh, the <laughs> uh, native AI uh, and narrow AI, and then it becomes uh, it learns with time uh, to become more expert. So these are uh, the this is the way how algorithms they uh, learn and they uh, evolve themselves into bigger <clears throat> you know whatever needs to be achieved it has to be mm -hmm. you know in a better way okay great i think we're done on boomerang so over to you again Cheers for the next thing you wanted to talk about all right so <laughs> let me let me finish everything yes. and then we will take all right. All right. Sorry. So, so, so uh, it is. It is. Uh, <clears throat> then, with Boomerang, people who have uh, who have bought Boomerang licenses, people who have uh, the NFT miners, they are mining with us. They are <clears throat> uh, moving along with Boomerang journey. Uh, now they have Nine Pay, which is a financial instrument and something which they can offer to anyone and. Everyone on this uh, planet uh, who is living in non-US dollar restricted uh, uh, region can potentially use Nine Pay uh, in a very, uh, you know, in a very uh, uh, simple and very uh, convenient way. It is a crypto card, and crypto cards are really, really, uh, uh, you know. Uh, different in terms of uh, in you know products in the DeFi space, wallets, exchanges. You know you have to go through a lot of things, a lot of processes to spend your crypto. It's simple. You put your crypto, you spend immediately. Uh, it takes close to thirty seconds to one minute. Uh, when you send crypto, it comes in your balance. Thirty seconds. And you spend so while you are you are eating at a restaurant and you you have nothing uh, you know and you send some crypto uh, by the time the steward brings your check uh, the balance appears in your wallet and you pay immediately so this kind of seamless ecosystem we have brought with no restrictions. Uh, in terms of number of transactions, in terms of limit, uh, it is $100,000 uh, that a user can spend in one transaction. That is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And so over this affiliate model where you guys were selling NFT miners, you guys were selling nodes, you guys were selling boomerang licenses on the same model with the same pro potential earning, you can sell now cards as well. So while boomerang is getting into uh, shape better and better uh, people can realize at least their uh, you know 2x to up to 3x uh, from the uh, you know from the this uh, was first so <clears throat> what i have and this is the reason why i brought uh, nine pay first i did not bring capital 3.0 first uh, the reason is very simple. Uh, people, uh, my goal was to give you guys ways to make money faster because uh, when when something is not working or when something is slow, uh, this means that you know everyone is discouraged, uh, demotivated, and everyone is like okay looking for something else to make money, but why to go, why to look for something else to make money, uh, or if I can potentially do something, I will do, uh, because I'm always here. Uh, this is what I do. I don't do anything else. Uh, as simple as that. And if I am there, as long as I'm there, and if I'm there, you guys don't need to worry. Uh, this is, uh, you know, kind of product that we brought is something tangible something that others 
the people who buy from you can feel and touch. And it is not a token that you are offering. It's not a NFT miner uh, that you are offering. It's it's bigger than that. It's a financial instrument. It can freaking pay anywhere. So uh, this is this is the reason why I brought. So some people also objected. Uh, why did you launch uh, Nine Pay? Why are you running pre sales? Why are you releasing? Uh, card application first get the boomerang working first i'm like you guys need to make money uh, with boomerang with was from everywhere because i don't want you guys to go somewhere else and start looking for options to make money and i will never uh, you know put you guys in a situation where you guys have to really look for something to make money and also at the same time the 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 trend or you can say the market is moving and market is about to move and we are enter we are going to enter into the bull run. Uh, you you guys have made a little money but my expectations uh, are different and I guess every one of you at your interpersonal level at your individual level you have your own expectations uh, I will try to meet your expectations but uh, my basic ex expectation with all our members is to have at least good position where market starts to move we don't regret and that's why Capital 3.0. Now, you have source of generating commissions. You have uh, got the affiliate model running past few days with the nine pay pre-sales. And everything is moving. Everyone is happy. They are understanding uh, Boomerang is going to go back live with eight trades. It is going to go. Uh, everything starts to move now and then capital 3.0 where you will have your position set for the upcoming bull run. we have uh, a very fine refined way of hitting into these opportunities uh, through the top tier funds uh, i'm not distributing roi in in a way it can be ponzi it can be illegitimate I could have done that uh, so far uh, by, before even running uh, Bitcoin code ecosystem or before even running Boomerang. But that's not my area where I want to, uh, you know, work. So there was a reason to bring Capital 3.0. Uh, with this kind of synergy where we can also realize ROI, but in the right way. So 35% goes into uh, vesting inside funds and it generates and continues to generate your five times. And that five times comes through uh, the vesting that we have in the fund. How it comes, I will explain. This is very important to understand. When we vest our money into top tier funds, they participate into unicorn projects. They don't participate in and last recent recent meetings with these funds, with these managers uh, have made me realize something even better. Uh, the response which I'm receiving from these uh, top tier funds is amazing. Uh, you guys have no idea. Because when I told them the whole process, how the money is coming and how it is going to be dispersed, because the tokens are going to go to you and you, I'm not going to receive it. It is going to be swapped. So inside your dashboard, you will have your swap feature. You already have it. We are just refining it now uh, in the back end. So these tokens, which will be associated with the products are going to be swapped. So these projects, where we put our money in the pre-seed 
they are also now more excited uh, to hear that a community, a group of real users are going to hold, <clears throat> you know, their tokens on the day one, no matter how big they are, uh, you know, even Apple, uh, when they launch their iPhones, they market like crazy. So <clears throat> we are going to be the foremost token holders. And, and that is that is kind of a uh, more interesting way uh, to have better positions. So usually these funds, when they participate in these uh, unicorns, and, and the opportunities are very, very limited. It's not like there are 100 projects uh, which, are, which are called unicorn projects. No, there are only a few. And these few projects, they bring back their track records you can go on their websites all the funds we have mentioned you can check their track record these are regulated funds <clears throat> their track record of uh, getting their uh, returns on an average is close to 100x so if this 35 percent with our contract the vesting and the return is is signed with basic 15 to 17 X, you are generating your five X safe. Mm. Mm. This is the five X that I'm giving uh, the opportunity for is on the day one when the project is launched, when the token is listed. And you guys know very well that when the token is listed, when the project is listed on Binance Coinbase, from that day, buying starts. That day on onwards, people start to jump in the project. And you are already there. So this is this is what the bigger picture is. Because and you can immediately take an exit. But you will you will choose to take your capital first, right? First you will take your 1x and then stay. And all our users are going to even make multiple X's on the 5X that they will generate. This is, this is the bigger picture of running it with this strategy. And trust me, if even one, one of the projects, I'm, I'm telling you, if, even if one of the projects did like 100X, 150X, uh, just like Solana did like 550x, uh, if, even if one of the projects did 100x, we are going to be rich, all of us. Because the, the, the way I will allocate the, uh, the 3.0 tokens into real project tokens will be in stages. Uh, so let's say whole community today has 500 thousand uh, dollars worth of uh, 3.0 tokens and we have uh, vesting that we can allocate of hundred thousand dollars so everybody's uh, let's say 10 percent tokens will be swapped into project tokens and everyone is going to get participation in all the projects mm. step by step so this this way you will end up with a portfolio of different different projects and all of them are unicorn <clears throat> okay now even bigger picture this is what i was discussing today in the uh, uk prime time uh, friday i i sit i i don't know how many people join uh, from australia because it's it's quite <clears throat> odd time but yes so that's what i explained uh, the the power of the ecosystem so when we participate in all these projects uh, through top tier funds, uh, I'm not associated directly with these projects at all. I mean, I have no connections, no relations, but if the holders are so many and we are influencing their pre-sales and we are, you know, no matter how big the product is, how big the project is, if we are sitting with a big database, with a big number of token holders, we are influencers, right? And then we, we have a say, we have votes there. 
we can do a lot of things with them we can uh, you know influence them we can bring them to our ecosystem all these projects also can be listed on our ecosystem and and that is the bigger picture so okay this is one side another side is i am getting i am going to receive all these information prior to uh, getting the allocations so i understand how the top tier funds are behaving in terms of investments in the upcoming bull run what is going to hit the market so hard right and that's how i will also shape this ecosystem so this uh insider information or you can say the, these insights are not free this is going to cost us uh, the cost is our profits in the allocation uh, but uh, this way our vision our way of uh, shaping the ecosystem and driving it will be as same as the unicorns and that is the key mm -hmm. Uh, and that's why i'm here i'm working really really hard i'm ensuring that uh, i get to the market first and the kind of products i have been developing just like the ai that you guys saw which can really really talk like a human uh, you know it's like it can it can do conversation with you this is the first one of a kind product that we built so and we have ip on this so product like this which is going to shape and reshape the industry uh and people ask me why are you uh, going and starting capital 3.0 why are you putting your community's investment into these projects when you can create yourself uh, top notch products i said uh, i have i have to diversify in every way i need to also learn and understand right i'm not i'm i'm i know things but i'm not a genius uh so this is this is my approach this is my uh, whole understanding and this is how i am operating so rest please do not worry about anything i'm always here and i understand what problems you guys go through also and i'm aware about everything and my decisions are sometime sometimes not favorable for you but these are the best decisions trust me and i i always have the whole ecosystem in my mind while making decisions so trust me i'm not going to take you guys uh, somewhere where there will be no uh, turns or no u turns there will be always u turns that you can make and there will be you you guys will be free to have your choices uh, you know the decision people who made decision to mine btcc with me they bought boomerang licenses with their btcc they are now buying i'm really really proud of all the btcc miners who are able to secure their $1000 card with their btcc it's it's the biggest uh, success of the whole ecosystem that they are able to buy something using the coin that they were mining and 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 then there will be more so listen to today's uh, uk prime time recording if you guys have and you will have the complete understanding of the synergy that we have with nine pay and btcc ecosystem how it is well connected and how more users are going to come into the mining ecosystem and recently close to half a million dollars worth of btccs were sold to buy pre sales uh, nine pay cards and yes. this is my achievement yes. these are the stars on my shoulder trust me uh, this is why and this is what have made me proud uh absolutely yeah so this is yeah. it uh if you guys have any questions um uh Chavez, I, love that you talk, uh, I love that you're creating more projects for us i think everybody here is very very grateful that you're not just fixing boomerang 
and not doing anything else for us. I mean, that would be crazy because, you know, I, I you know, we've all been invited to other projects over the last couple of months and I'm just like, no, I'm not getting into anything. I absolutely trust what you're doing, Chavez, and I know you're not setting us up into any sort of Ponzi things. And I know you are so creative. You have all this time. You have an amazing tech team and you want to create other things for us. I know you have our best interests at heart. Absolutely. We all agree, right? We all love Chavez, don't we? Give us, Absolutely. Give us that's, that's right. Moira, did you want to ask, say anything to Chavez? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to know. I think if everybody wants to, at least if they can't unmute, um, pop down to the React and let's show some love because Chavez comes in to all of these Zooms around the world and it's just a whole lot of a barrage of questions. And I think we miss what we want to convey is we love you, Chavez. We love what you've done for us. We get it and, and we're totally on board with you. We are next to you as Satoshis and um, uh, we're so proud of what you're doing for us and... Yeah, we're standing together and we, we love everything you're doing. And we understand there are some difficulties and we get that. We, we're in for the ride. We're in for the long haul. You're giving us short-term and long-term oh, beautiful um, financial freedom um, pathways. And we get it. We understand. And we love you. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. We're definitely super excited about everything that's coming and yes the nine pay i haven't got mine yet but i'm about to use my btcc swap it around get my platinum card like it is it's incredible the ecosystem it's our it's our own i was explaining this on thursday night we're our own country we're all satoshi as a country and our currency is btcc and we spend it in our ecosystem you know Many people, many people fooled, uh, you know, even you guys by building metaverses, you know, doing all the kind of different things. Uh, come on, this is the real thing. You stake and, and more, are, more, more things are coming. We have staking program inside 9Pay where you will stake your BTCC and you will have APY up to 12 to 18%. Uh, so people don't even have to sell their BTCC and the value also goes up in long time. So this these sort of uh, arrangements are going to uh, give you guys permanent, regular residual income where you don't have to worry about uh, nothing and just work. And by that time, I will introduce you know, even more challenging products. I'm in onto it. I'm, you know, doing everything that I can do to bring more uh, interesting products on board. Uh, yes. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to bring Steve is going, wants to ask a few questions. Steve is loving everything that you do. He's a broker from New Zealand and he understands all of this and he loves it. Steve. Hey, um, Chavez. Hey, good to good to chat. Um, almost in person. Um, yeah, nice, nice small group, and um, it's been really good. Just love the work you're doing. Um, we're just excited about the nodes, uh, everything that's come to the table. Um, you know, some people have started for Project One um, as Boomerang, and um, and I said, hey, the timelines aren't ideal. Um, this is in the tech space. Um, but we've been involved in sort of five or six things inside. We're all Satoshi. So um, absolutely excited about it. Hey, there's some delays. It is what it is. You know, um, you know I just say to people, if you, if you don't like delays, um, come back when it's all finished. You know, if you want an off-the-shelf product. But to be early adopters in all what we have done, yeah, we have uh, faith in the, whole, in the whole ecosystem, the whole project in you. Um, you know, we we believe you're a magician. Um, you just you just keep pulling the, the the guru the guru things out of the bag, and um, and that's the thing. Everything is you know like hey delays happen. We're cool with that, um, but you know just to keep moving forward at pace um, with those ideas coming out. Like one of the biggest things that is you know for off ramping. One of the things I do for people 
um, with the nine pay card and just looking at those slides the other day, how powerful that will be um, without being able to stake inside there um, all the other um, coins that you can send there as well. So it can become that one place um, to store all, to facilitate, you know, all of these things. So really excited. Love what you're doing. Um, yeah. Awesome. Keep up the good work. Um, you know, nat Thanks. naturally you want to see the um, boomerang, all the changes coming with that. Um, but that all takes time. Um, we were involved in, in arbitrage in the old school, no AI involved, um, made very, very good money over the years um, when the opportunities came up. So to have it automated so every uh, man, woman and child can have a go and and just change the way they do business, the change the way they live life and just give them some options to be able to do it instead of just going out and doing the 40, 40, 40 hour a week mahi, you know. So um, just excited. Awesome. Keep up the good work, man. Beautiful. Well, uh, uh, you are you are absolutely right, and uh, I think with the on ramp off ramp services uh, inside NinePay, uh, we all see uh, what kind of uh, inflationary trends uh, all the currencies are facing right now, and people are scared to keep their money in the banks. Yep, and. Crypto is the savior. Crypto is the solution for everyone. Uh, even uh, I don't know how many people uh, follow the U.S. presidential election. I hope Trump wins, and uh, you know we 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 literally have uh, the uh, you know the the Federal Reserve influence a little less uh, to the uh, you know fiat side, and I hope uh, it all. But understand people living in Europe, you guys are really, really lucky that you live in Australia where uh, government is also supportive and government has, uh, you know, created all the regulations and things are really, really organized. But in European countries, banks are charging money to keep your money there. So with our services, people are going to convert their fiat into crypto and keep it in the wallets uh, state and also make money on that. Uh, so and this is all uh, regulated. The, we will provide IBAN numbers as well. Uh, every user will have the ability to apply and get their international bank account numbers. So banking with crypto made easy uh, thing will be done. And, and this is the solution. That's why I was waiting. Uh, I could have just launched a crypto card uh, without, uh, you know, paying more, you know, enough attention. I, I ordered also car, so many cards. I created one card also before uh, Wani knows, Carl knows. Um, I created some, uh, you know, crypto cards back then as well. Uh, but those were just cards just crypto cards and no functionality no um, proper mobile application no apple google pay integration not accepted by all the merchants nine pay card is accepted by 100 million plus merchants worldwide it's a platinum visa credit card uh, it is top notch so and and that is why i took some time and i looked at every synergy that I can possibly do. Then I moved to Hong Kong and saw how everything, you know, is shifting from uh, European countries in terms of regulations also into uh, Hong Kong, where uh, the licensing is uh, easy, uh, not very cheap, but easy and convenient and reliable. And these solutions helped me understand uh, how I can make it even bigger. Then I obtained uh, the on-ramp, off-ramp licenses as well uh, from both uh, Southeast Asian uh, jurisdictions as well as European jurisdictions. So we have SEPA transfers as well as SWIFT, uh, both. Uh, so users can exchange uh, their capital worldwide, regardless of jurisdictions. So that is something which is very essential for me. 
to take or make any decision where uh, if I'm doing something, I have to do it properly. I know uh, Boomerang made uh, a lot of delays and that's where uh, I got a little, uh, you know, but I did not go off track. I have been running like I should do. Uh, but this, this these delays made you guys uh, a little off track, uh, which I'm going to cover. And I will sleep even lesser and I will work more harder to make sure everything uh, remains on track for everyone. Thank you, Shabazz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm going to bring on uh, Darren. He's got a question. He um, recently bought a node outright with his BTCC, if I, if I can say that, Darren. He joined our validator syndicate, saved up his BTCC, bought a whole node. Now, he's got some Amazing. questions about it because he's having trouble with it. Darren. Okay. Yes, Hi, Darren. thank you. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you, Shabazz. <laughs> Yeah, it's just uh, not working. Wondering why. Can't see okay, anything okay. going on. So, so uh, are you running it on a computer right now? Yes. Okay. And when did you buy it? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Uh, what is your user? Uh, what is your Ninon, user? Ninon 78. Capital N. N I N I N seven eight. Okay. Yes, it's active. Your address ends with F three two. It's active. Yeah. It's actually active. It will take a little time, and rewards will start. It's not uh, very simple. We configure. We configured all the nodes uh, which have been bought till yesterday. All of them are yeah. active. You just need yeah. to keep running it. Uh, rewards will start popping in. Okay. When when will I see that, Shabazz? Uh, maybe in a day or two. Uh, just keep it running. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It just needs to establish a connection with your local server to the blockchain server. And uh, once it has established connection, and the node is configured, and that's why uh, you don't have to manually configure anything. That's the key. Uh, so it takes some some time. We have activated all of them. That's why I told your address as well. I have the active nodes with me in the directory. So yeah. it is active. It is uh, going to be uh, dispersing rewards soon. And the moment it is active from, it will pay in a ret retrospective effect. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Chavez. Good. Thank you. Awesome. And and the one other question regarding some of the withdrawals. Uh, mm -hmm. there's some, some older withdrawals are still pending. I know, I know, I know that. Uh, some of the withdrawals are very old. They got struck. So we are first uh, clearing the uh, transactions from withdrawal wallets. And uh, if we will not be able to clear them uh, forcefully, then we will revert them back. So I don't think uh, there are many, uh, so many left. There are, I think, 300, 400 transactions which are still pending. Team is uh, because the system was under maintenance for, I believe, four to five days where all the withdrawals got piled up. So I think 90, 90% of them have already been there. So people just need to go to their dashboard and hit refresh button and they will see it. Okay. And if they still haven't got it, is it worth raising a ticket to support? No, no, no. Don't need to do anything. I know everything. Tech team knows everything. So they don't need to raise any ticket. They don't need to do anything. Just wait a couple of hours. They are every couple of hours they are doing it again and again okay great thank you good carl hey chavez a lot of people are going to be asking about the 
dividend wallet disappearing off the screen and they haven't had a chance to withdraw yet uh, because our, DAP, our, our um, chain went into maintenance for such a period. What are you going to do about those? There's a lot of people are asking. Okay, so um, I, I tried to get everyone withdraw everything. Uh, many transactions were pending as well, and all of them are completed by now. And some people could not. Uh, we removed the dividend wallet functionality because I had to, because I needed to add. Uh, there were so many things conflicting inside WAS ecosystem, and I had to add 5x functionality and everything. I had to rebuild the entire system, and I did this in one week. Uh, so it was quite challenging, but yes, dividend wallet is gone. Now I'm thinking, uh, see, it is, it is something that we informed, but, uh, okay. So we can do one thing, uh, people can, I can still re-verify, uh, from backend. I have the reports with me of, uh, dividend generation. So users can. Uh, give their username, their uh, wallet address, their BTC20 address, uh, their amount, which they could not withdraw, they remember the last, and submit an Excel sheet uh, to Yvonne, and Yvonne give, gives it to me, and I give it to team and they process it manually. This is the only solution. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to do it. Um, I understand some people uh, could not on time, but you guys need to be really, really quick uh, whenever we announce something. But yes, again, it's uh, partially my fault as well. The chain was in maintenance. But uh, the dividends were there for a long, long time. Um, so, you know, yes, it's, the uh, is fantastic. Thank you, Chavez. I think that's great. Unfortunately, what happens in Australia and New Zealand, whenever people were trying to move the dividends, the BTC 20 would be out of sync and it wasn't getting topped up when we were awake, it would get okay. topped up. At, a, at a, our 11 p.m. midnight time, we've all gone to bed by then. <laughs> And Chavez, and Chavez, if so people, yes. people don't remember what the amount was in their we wallet, we we know that. Uh, yeah, we know that's all right. Know. So they just will need to give their username and the wallet address, the MetaMask wallet address they want it to go to. Then, uh, people who remember the amount, please mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Uh, please yeah. make sure this news does not go out of Australia and New Zealand, uh, so that I will have less headache. Uh, from rest of the world, please. It's a request. Thank you. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> that might um, be okay. On, on the nine pay card, um, there needs to be a bit more clarity. Um, there's speculation that the expiry period is three years. Some are saying five years. I think I heard you on one of the leaders' meetings yeah. say it was five years. Can you confirm the period, please? Okay, so uh, you buy whenever you take a Visa Platinum card from a bank. Also, it is three years, and uh, sometimes it is more depending on the jurisdiction from where it is issued. So we are issuing it from Hong Kong, so it is three years. Uh, so up to two thousand twenty-seven, it will be active. After three years, I think uh, within these three years, all the leaders who buy a card on the on their purchase, they will be able to make three times in WAS. So they can buy three more cards at least. If Even if they are so slow in three years, uh, come on, uh, uh, WAS is there. I am here. Uh, exhaust your potential earning for three long years. Then buy another card, no problem. That's great. Then everyone has to buy another card. <laughs> okay. What, what good if, for, uh, for leaders, good for affiliate marketers, 
they can start reselling the card after three years. What about those that buy a card just for them and they're not recruiters, they're not building team? It's a product uh, card. What... It's, it's a blessing for the people in the you you guys live in Australia. That's why you don't realize yeah. uh, if yeah. you go to any other country where buying crypto, selling crypto is a nightmare, that, then you will understand the rates of selling uh, in the OTC is so high that people they they pay like double, uh, almost one point five times when they buy crypto. Yeah, I, I'm not asking that question. I'm uh, I haven't finished. For those that just buy the card for their use, okay, mm -hmm. they get the benefit of that facility. But where do they actually earn any kickback to the card? Because if they don't have a downline and they don't recruit, mm -hmm. they're not going to have any ability from what I see in the, the um, presentation deck to actually earn 3% or 0.3% or 0.1% and 1%. So those other people that just use the card for transactions are not going to get any kickback, are they? Okay, let me explain. First, the people who do not refer, they, they buy a card, okay? They let's say there is no affiliate model they go and download the app they they pay and they buy a hundred dollar card uh, what are they expecting they are expecting a service a payment card that they have bought it has a limit uh, which is actually no limit to spend crypto whatever they hold they can spend uh, so this is called value of services that they are paying okay and wait they have family members they they have wife they have children they, they are not recruiting but they have family members they have friends uh, who see while they are paying with the crypto card so they will ask everyone who is not into affiliate marketing will end up referring at least two people so that they qualify for one tier and just like I did, so I am not an affiliate marketer. Mm -hmm. I have given uh, one card to my driver, one card to my uh, a guy who cooks food at home, does all the basic things at home, one card uh, to my project manager, one card to my uh, accounts team, one card to my compliance team. All of them are spending money. I am making 0.3%. And a lot so, of us also have fees on the cards that we already have. If we've already got a credit card or whatever, you know, you pay, sometimes for some of them, you pay a yearly fee. Oh, so it is more. It is more. With the credit card, it's more. I, one day I presented data. Okay. I brought uh, the biggest banks in the world, their transaction rates. Uh, their details, if you go on Google, you will find out. Uh, just find the bank rates of American Express cards, the best credit cards in the world. You will understand. Beautiful. Thank you. Good Good answer. So, with, if people mm -hmm. buy multiple cards in their mm -hmm. own account to give to people, mm -hmm. does that affect the tier structure or does it have to be in your directs in your directs that's the affiliate side uh, bonuses for our leaders that is not for the uh, users who are buying card to spend uh, that is for our people who are into affiliate marketing uh, this is something which i am paying uh, this is not coming from visa this 0 0.1% 0 0.2% 0 0.3% reimbursement uh, on the transactions when others spend, this is coming as a reimbursement from Visa. And this is settled uh, to me after every three months. So I'm paying it instantly. Uh, so it is, it is requiring, you know, it takes a lot of guts to do all these things, but I'm doing it.
Yeah. Well, there, yeah. there is a bit of misconception going around that mm -hmm. if you buy them all in the same account, they still count and they don't. So then we need to get more message out. Yes, yes. It is very clearly written, tier one, two active directs on was Everybody has two directs. Mm -hmm. So they are qualified. They just need to influence, convince their people to buy one one card each. And that's it. And and Chavez, does that have to be a direct from each side, or can the directs be on the same side that have purchased the anywhere, card? Anywhere, anywhere, same yeah. side, other side, yeah. no problem. I don't care. I just need two people who have bought their cards, and you get one percent. No problem. Good. All right. I think that answers things for for that. So Carol has a question. You can unmute now, Carol. <laughs> She's like, Carol. oh, thank God. <laughs> I know Carol's question. Carol has brought a node and it is not showing rewards. She was, she ran a few hours and I saw the logs also uh, from her computer. Uh, I can check everything here. And then she oh, really? stopped running. Now, no. now she's now <laughs> no, she's running again. I get I got an error message when I click on that yeah. link. I get an it's, error message, and I'm still getting it. It's not error message, Carol. You need to keep running that link. That link is not error message. Oh really? Yes. Okay. That, all that writing, all that all those letters and numbers. So that's, just click on it, leave the computer on, and I'm good. That's okay. good. Because I know you stopped it, and then you started running again. That's why I know. I was just checking. Okay. Oh, really? I thought I had yes. a problem. Okay. No. Okay, you answered one, of my, one more question. Okay. When are we getting okay. our... What? <laughs> When are we getting a uh, 100 test, um, test, um, test, what, the, yes, the, the boomerang, uh, yeah. Yes, nobody is running 100 trades right now uh, because I uh, lifted the test accounts, kept them uh, separate, but your address is now added. Carl sent the address and let's uh, first roll out four trades uh, and then we will go on the profit ceiling wise and test accounts uh, and restriction in a different way. We will be updated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Lena. Hello, my lovely. You can unmute. Hello. Um, can we use our proof of reserves for Capital 3.0? Uh, so proof of reserve uh, liquidation, I will first guide how it will happen, in what stages, how to calculate, what are you going to receive? Of course, it is your money. You can you can do anything with it. Uh, you, you gift it to someone, I won't object. Uh, no problem. Yeah, I'd rather use it for the capital three for now, I think. <laughs> okay, definitely. Thank you. Good. Thank you so much. Good question. I like it. All right, Fred, downtown Fred. Hey, thanks for uh, taking my uh, question. Uh, just go right to the point because of time. Uh, the Shiba re, um, rewards, rank rewards, do we know when that will be uh, paid out? Because that will be helpful yes. for pay and everything else. Yeah. Yes, I said uh, up to 15th of September we are processing the old method of uh, releasing rank rewards i'm releasing it already today also we release so many uh, tomorrow as well we will release day after tomorrow as well we will receive release so you will get it uh, okay. make sure you have made a withdrawal with the right bep 20 shiva address and after this club you don't have to worry it will be in trc 20 uh, usdt so gotcha also, is there a different process now when withdrawing off the platform? Is it like a 24-hour uh, period? Because I was helping someone no. try to pay for the 9K okay. and it 
went into pending. Yeah, you just, okay, so you just withdraw, it will go into pending, it will go into uh, the line. Since the system was on maintenance, we had so many withdrawals. Uh, so we are clearing all of them okay. together. Maybe it will be in, still in pending. It will be cleared, but on a regular basis, when it will go one is to one, uh, hopefully by tomorrow, then uh, you will see uh, it coming in a couple of hours. It's just the queuing process we added so that you don't have to go through the errors one by one again and again, and you don't have to go through all the troubles. Uh, leaders suggested uh, me to create a queue, uh, and that's what I did. So it's simple. You place a withdrawal, you go sleep, it will show up in your wallet. Okay. And now switch to uh, nine pay. Just two questions on nine pay. Um, mm -hmm. In New York, we have issues with you USD. can spend in New York. No, no, no you no. can spend in New York. No problem. Okay. And Come can on. we uh, and can we use the card at gas stations? Yes, yes. You can okay. use it at gas stations. You can buy some beers. Uh, you can do anything. Okay, great. Because that's well, one thing. Other yeah. other cards they have that restriction, yeah. so that's something that no, no. is a bonus with ours. Thank you. I'm you done. Use, if they if they don't accept card, uh, then you use Apple Pay. Uh, no problem. You have Apple okay. Pay integration. Thank you. You are Fred. You are not spending crypto directly. Mm -hmm. You have a Fiat credit card, just like this. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amazing. Beautiful. Thank you. And uh, Mark, are you there, Mark? I can't see your face. Do you want to ask a question? Yeah, Mark? sorry. Um, look, uh, my apologies. I'm actually uh, on Waiheke Island and my camera's not working. So uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, well, good evening and should be the case. Good, nearly good morning, too. My question is regards to the nodes and the ability to... I know you, your instructions were that we ran nodes on an individual notebook or PC. Um, question, Chavez, is can we run multiple nodes on a single PC? Yes, yes, definitely you can. Okay, so because um, we've syndicated a number of nodes and currently I've got two, two PCs sitting in my office and we've got another node coming online. Keep running it, and uh, hopefully in six months or something, I will have uh, you guys uh, get PS servers from my side. I will rent. Uh, I will buy these servers in bulk uh, from good data centers. You just have to pay some BTCCs to me for running these nodes on VPS servers. And I will do that on your behalf. Okay, so I will have the VPS servers associated uh, in a data center far away uh, in different countries. Uh, and then you don't have to run your computers. Just pay me some BTCC, uh, whatever wow. will be the cost. Yeah. You just wow. so you take money from me. <laughs> of course, I will, I, will, I, will, I will take some extra BTCC uh, from your APY yearly, and uh, this will be uh, additional service that I will provide. So it will take a little time, uh, but yes, eventually I will do it. Uh, just just a couple of months. Good. Well, look. So the answer the answer to the question is yes. You can run multiple nodes on a individual notebook. Yes. Yes. Um, and so that really, yeah. And the idea is by having that just the same as you putting in servers in various locations, that's moving things around and separating it all. Yes, yes. Good. All I right, man. Hey, 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 thank you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And appreciate everything that you've done for us to date. Amazing. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Last question from Nicole. This has been great. Hey, Nicole. Thanks, Yvonne. Hi, Chavez. Wonderful to see you. Um, my Amazing. question is regarding the, the node pools. Um, mm -hmm. The last payment we got was in February, so I just wanted to know when, for the for the mega pool, so when will those rewards be released? When will those rewards begin to be paid out? And also okay. you had so mentioned you... some time ago about validators. 
about having mini validators? Is that still mm -hmm. in your timeline? Is that still yes, part yes. of what but you're going to do? Yes, exactly. So we we under we we went under uh, the updates on chain as well. You guys saw uh, we have uh, now uh, configured the smart contract deployment functionality inside blockchain, uh, and we have additional features uh, that now we can add into BTC Twenty Smart Chain. So it is good. Uh, node pools. Uh, I will release information. Now we have reset. Uh, the pools, you can talk to Wani. She will explain how it works with the pool. But the old ones which were there are going to be released and how uh, Yvonne will inform you when. Okay? You'll have to let me know then, Chavez. Yeah, of course. I will. Of course, you, you join the meetings yes. whenever we meet and discuss. Nicole, I, I have not seen Nicole in th those meetings. Uh, that's why I was referring. So you, if you have a point of contact, you would inform. Yes, I can do that. Thank you. All right, Kate. Perfect. Beautiful. And then Kate and Lena again, and then that's all for the questions. All right. Hello, yeah. Kate. Hey, um, Shavaz, I just wanted to ask, is there a reason why the boomerang maintenance is always done on the weekend? Because for most uh, people... There is no, because I was there is say, no reason. Yeah, for most people, if we're going to be going to having to do it twice a day or four times a day, having those weekend days taken out is not going to be practical for a lot of people. Okay, so I will, I will, uh, from, from this time, uh, what we will do, it's because ideal for uh, our developers to work because they work whole week and they make all these updates ready. And on the weekends, uh, they put their junior developers uh, to work and they deploy. So it's it's their culture how they are doing it. Uh, I I don't have a say in that, but I can I can definitely uh, you know change this. I it's easy. So okay, I will make sure. Uh, basically, on the weekends, it will be functional. Yeah, just, I mean, just uh, not every one of them on the weekends, that's all. So, I mean, I know sometimes if it's Already. urgent, then okay. the weekend is when it's got to happen, but, yeah. Oh. Okay, okay, sure, sure, no problem. Good. All right, Lena? <laughs> Sorry, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, just one more question. Um, say, for instance, I had some Solana on an exchange, if I transferred it to my nine pay card, could mm -hmm. I stake it on there? Yes, you can. You can spend Solana using nine pay cards. No problem. Okay. Okay. So it's like a little exchange, really, isn't it? It is not a little exchange. It is bigger than exchange. It has on ramp, off ramp services. It has banking services. Exchanges don't offer you bank accounts. I'm going to offer bank accounts to you guys. It's like a mini bank. Okay, but we can't actually buy directly on there, can we? You can buy directly crypto on Nine Pay. Okay, so I could just send my fiat over, buy Solana on there, and keep yes, it. Yes. Yes. Okay, sounds good. And you can swap also amongst cryptocurrencies and pay some whatever the swap charges are. You can send crypto. Let's say you want to send uh, $100 to Yvonne. You don't have to spend any gas fee. It will be zero fee transfer. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Can't wait for nine, mate. Woohoo. All right, Greg. Hello, my friend. Greg is uh, a Shiba too from New Zealand. You probably know him. He's into buying nodes as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Greg. Hey, thanks very much for, the, for today. It's been awesome. Um, some great info. Um, something that I've um, been asked uh, to clarify is with the Take Capital, with the um, the 50,000 and above and the 100,000 above, um, mm -hmm. Is that ROI calculated on a daily basis? Is it compounded? It's daily basis and the ROI is sent to you. Right, that's for uh, up to the 25,000, isn't it? For the 25,000 to 50,000. 
-hmm. But for the above 50,000 where it's done weekly and and uh, the 100,000 where it's done monthly, Month. is it mm -hmm. compounded during the week and during the month? No. No, it no, is it, not it, compounded. It, cool. Your return it's is paid still to you. Yeah. yeah. So Re it is paid to you every day. The yield, the ROI is paid to you every day. It is sent to your wallet address. Mm -hmm. And the last day, uh, your a principal with your profit this is this is uh, pretty impressive i think yes. uh, there cannot be any compounding uh, there is a reason because uh, when you put money in this you prefer to have some commissions every day uh, so this is why i started take capital and some users are doing it it is not uh, very very popular that so many people are doing it because not everyone can put yeah 25k but people who can put 25k they are receiving every day uh, 0.25 percent and they're happy with it uh, some people have increased their uh, daily capital uh, to weekly and they ran for two three weeks and then they have uh, switched to monthly because they don't have uh, they don't want headache to uh, withdraw money then they don't have to withdraw we process the withdrawals ourselves uh, but they don't want to put the money back spend gas fee again two dollars three dollars so it is it is going well so far but yes there is no compounding there oh, no. yes <clears throat> yes it's uh all these products are just incredible shabazz you just keep blowing us away uh jacob keeps putting his hand up so i'll let him ask <laughs> hello jacob i don't know you Hello, uh, thank thank you for giving me the opportunity. Hello, Safir. Hello, can what you hear me? Question? Yes, we hear okay. you. Yes, my my question, no, Safir, uh, uh, yeah. First of all, thank you for putting the uh, committee together to try to enrich, to an effort to enrich. Uh, my my problem is that uh, I have about three thousand uh, USDT in my two accounts from the dividend, and. Uh, uh, I couldn't pull it out when the uh, the old situation changed. So uh, I'm thinking, like, is there anything I can do to retrieve it, or there's just no any other way? Uh, uh, well, yes, Bonnie. Yeah, Chavez already answered that before, Jacob. Send me your username uh, and your BTC, okay. BTC20 address and the amount. Okay. I will put an Excel spreadsheet together and I will send that to Chavez in about seven days. I'm sort of still on holiday here, but I will um, get in about a week. Is that okay, Chavez? Yes, yes, that's okay. Take your time. Yeah. Good. Uh, right. I appreciate you, Yonet. I, I thank uh, I'm happy that I asked that question. Thank you Good. so much. No problem. Thank, thank, you. My thank you so much. Everyone, oh, I believe Rochelle is ready by now. She's heading out uh okay so i i also have to uh eat i did not eat anything uh so far and thank you so much it's always lovely to chat with all the aussies and new zealanders and uh, you guys have really really positive vibes and the way you guys promote the way you guys operate in boss is really really incredible i love the energy thank you so much just keep up with the same energy and let's rock and roll thank you thank you Thanks, we thank love you. you too i'm going to allow everybody to unmute and say mm -hmm. goodbye to you thank you for your time it's been an awesome call hasn't it everybody yep Amazing. Thank you, Chavez. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you, everybody, for your questions. I think we've got all our questions answered today. How cool has that been? Right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Really cool. Yeah. yeah. Just the details on the um, the pools will be great. So once the leaders that are in those meetings get that, that would be great to find that out. 
because I know there's quite a few people that want to know how that's going forward. Yes, definitely, definitely. All right, great. Well, we're done for today. And um, my my next Aussie call will be Thursday night again uh, with everybody. Don't forget to get your nine pay card. How good does nine pay sound? It just keeps getting better. Mm. I'm blown away by it. Mm. Mm. Thank you for organising. Thanks, Wani. That's all right. No worries. No worries. It's great yeah. to have you all here. Please, you all come to the Chavez calls. So come to our calls too because we give lots of good information, all right? Moira if I does... can get a wig, if I can get a wig, Bonnie, in a moment. <laughs> yeah, I got it. In Atlanta, got... I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. But the Aussies can come. The Aussies yeah. and the Kiwis can come. So, all right, my friends, we will see you next time. Have a great weekend. And uh, you, we'll see you next week. Okay, you'll have a Bye. 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 Bye